Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today we're going to do a very simple thing. We're going to create a prompt. A prompt is the instructions you give to a text generator such as ChatGPT, so it can give you better answers. So there is now a whole science or a whole area of study in doing better prompts. So what we're going to do is to use Google Sheets, its dropdowns, its concatenation uh, abilities to be able to easily generate prompts that then I can take to ChatGPT and then bring back the output or use some of the newly created um, extensions like ChatGPT for Sheets and Docs so that I could inside Google Sheets use a function to generate the output and communicate with ChatGPT or with another of the similar AI text generation outlets and generate it inside my sheets. But then this could work for any of these other kind of tools. I hope you like it. But before we start, you can consider subscribing to the channel or going to the Patreon page where you can download more than 70 templates and you can ask me anything about all the videos. Let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to do is to see any guide on how to create better prompts in, in ChatGPT. Actually, I already have one that is really nice. I like it a lot. That is from the same guys that do these uh, GPT for Sheets uh, complements, extensions that we can take a look in another video. It's a way, as I showed you in the last video, to uh, integrate ChatGPT with Google Sheets directly. So here they have a couple of guides, very nice guides of how to write better prompts. So basically it says, please give, be very, very specific. Tell it what is the task, what is the topic, what is the style, what is the tone, what is the city, or any other specific thing, the length, whatever, depending on what you do most. And here it also has some examples of what could be the tasks, what could be the topics, what could be the styles, what could be the tones, who could be the audience, who, what could be the length. So we're going to try to simulate something similar to this in Google Sheets so that I could, instead of having to go directly to ChatGPT and write, write an email for this audience, for this topic, I could just do a selection similar to this, like a very similar form, where but customized to what we need. So let's begin. I'm going to call this prompt generator and Let's start with task, then topic, style, tone. Actually, let's copy all of this. And let's see what can we help to not leave it so open. Because I could leave it open and you can write whatever you want. But the nice thing is we can take advantage of data validation, such as drop downs. For example, the style we could do here an options sheet. I'm going to call this prompt and the option sheet. Let's first have the style. What could be the style? It could be funny, could be formal, informal, polite, legal, business style, peer to peer, whatever. Depending on your area of business, this could change. Okay. So here in the style, I'm going to right click, drop down. I'm going to click drop down from a range and here I'm going to select this range starting in A2 and we're going to leave it open so you can do how many styles you want. And I'm going to, in advanced options, leave it as show warning because it, maybe I want a style that is not here and I could put it also. Perfect. And I could also give some colors, maybe funny, yellow, formal is a little bit black. I don't know. This could help you select. Then let's go with the tone. Tone and style could sometimes be similar, but tone, here we can see in the example that style is more if it's formal, informal, business, academic, and tone is if it's more angry or confident. So actually I mixed a bit of both here because polite may be more of a tone than a style and funny may also be more of a tone than a style. So it could be polite, funny, serious, angry, we could play with both things. Again, we're going to add a new rule and it's also going to be a drop down from a range 
and the range is going to be this let's start in b2 and go up to b okay and again if you want to put some colors and we'll click this show warning if you want to remove to change this you could change some people don't like this but i think that is actually a very nice indicator that it's a drop down and the possibility of putting colors is also really nice the audience the audience this you could keep it or lose it but it's basically uh, maybe it's for my boss maybe it's for a peer maybe it's for children or maybe sometimes it's not even for children but you like to explain it very clearly so you can put that it's for children let's see here audience five-year-old ten-year-old teenager expert uninformed business okay so we're going to leave it open but you could also have drop downs like this length length is really nice because you can say how long you want it to be so what we could do is to have some units of length units of length and this could be for example paragraph sentences words character or letters and we could have here a number and here we can add a new rule again drop down from a range and the range will be this one let's leave it open okay again show a warning done and for example we could write two paragraphs let's see here there are more things here for example format if you want it for code a specific format here for example in this example it puts city you could put language there are a lot of things you could change and you could customize with whatever you want for now let's leave here additional data and if you want we could do with this column so that what we need to do is to join all of this in one statement because this is one what i'm going to show or give chat gpt okay or any other generative uh, text application so let's do an example for example task let's say i want to create main text for my web page what is the topic google sheets academy what is the style let's say you want to be informal because my final customer is, is regular persons not not businesses and maybe it could be not so funny but maybe also not so serious what about the tone could be uh, casual the audience would be google sheets beginners or no idea what a spreadsheet is length two paragraphs i think it's okay additional data is uh, include call to action for subscribing subscribing to the academy okay this is what i want now i want to join all of these in just one text so there are many ways of doing it i'm going to use this text join formula it's a very very nice function first i'm going to need the delimiter which with which i'm going to separate maybe just the space will work then if i am going to ignore the empty spaces and in this case yes i'm going to ignore them so here i can see that let's do this again text join i want to see the example here it says that true is won't be included so perfect let's do true so again text join the delimiter will be the space then i'm going to say true and finally i'm going to select all of these let's hit enter and now i have i have it as a one text and now i could copy this go to chat gpt and paste it here here it is welcome to google sheets academy where we'll take you from a spreadsheet newbie to master in no time whether you're scratching your head at the mention of spreadsheets or your double bit but still feel lost we've got your back it's really cool maybe this is too large maybe i should put it a bit shorter but this is really really cool okay so now i can have this and maybe paste it here in my output and i'm going to paste it here okay 
So now I have this record. Maybe then I can paste it even further. We could have a Google Apps script that we could then store the prompt and the output. Maybe I would need it in the future. I don't know. This is just an idea. Another thing we could do to just to save me the hassle of having to go to ChatGPT is to install the extension uh, that I showed you at the beginning. So that here, the, this ChatGPT for work. So let's do it. Let's go to add-ons. Maybe this is the topic for another video. I don't want to, to get too deep into this, but let's do it quickly. And if you want another video just of this, we could do it. GPT for sheets and docs. That's it. I'm going to select it. I'm going to install it. I'm going to give it the permissions. Allow. Let's close. And that's it. Here, it'll start. I need the API key. So for this, again, we could do another video, but you need to go to the OpenAI webpage, log in, and look for the API key. And the important thing here is that you need to have a paid account because the API, even though in a free account, you're going to have API key, it's not going to work. Okay, so this is the disadvantage of these kind of these solutions, but actually for the all the things we needed, maybe many of you would consider to pay for ChatGPT and uh, it's not expensive. Okay, so I'm going to paste it. I have it here. I'll paste it here. And now we can test it, but again, this is for another video. What I could do is without having to do the text join, I could go here just click GPT, select all of the, without having to do anything else, all of my box, click enter, and it automatically does, does all the, the compiling for me. So it selects everything like it was a prompt, so I don't need to do this text join. Even if I did the text join, the nice thing is I could reference this task and I didn't have to go to chat GPT, I could do it here immediately. So this is really, really nice. Okay. And just for you to know, these two are different because even though it's chat GPT, it always will generate different uh, answers. I'm sure there are some similarities, but this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to make this prompt for you so that now you could create your own options and you don't have to go to chat GPT and always write from scratch. Could be much more specific and get much much better results i hope you like it please give me your suggestions if this works if not and again this the idea of this is that it's not only attached to chat gpt but then you can use it in when google sheets unveils its own ai generator excel microsoft whatever so that this could work for many systems and you can have it always as a tool easily generate the prompts and you could go further and be more creative and have other things always in the vein or the idea always is to be the most the more specific as possible so your answers are the best you can get okay so i hope you liked it and if you liked it you can subscribe to the channel and if you want more you can go to the patreon page where you'll find all the templates for more than 70 videos we can chat there and you can ask me questions and you can suggest new videos and i already have there a nice community Thank you so much, all the people that have supported me and uh, see you next time.